I watched the film that you've made. And um, I burst into tears. You said this thing um, that I, I brought to you a quote that I, I thought, I just discovered it and I thought you might find it interesting. It's by Zadie Smith and it said, the biggest lie about love is that it will set you free. Mm. <laughs> and I was like, wow, I have never heard a take on, we have always accepted that love will set you free. Mm -hmm. As if it's a fact that is unquestioned. So I liked that and I was excited to present you with that quote until I want to tell you a quote you said that I burst into tears. Oh God, heartbreak is a two-way street. Oh my God, I think, I think I was talking about song favorite crime when I said that, I believe. Um, and I just remember going through that awful heartbreak and feeling so responsible for it though too in a way. Like you can blame someone else and be like, oh, like I hate that you did that to me and I hate that you did that to me. But like when you really think about it, it's like you, you like put yourself in a position to be hurt and, and nobody's perfect and you know, you must have done things wrong in that relationship too and. I've, uh, I've never looked at it that way. <laughs> and I think that's a big part of the yeah, app for forgiving another person in a breakup is forgiving yourself too. That was like a big kind of aha moment for me. A lot of the film felt very empowering and you have the ear of so many people you say this word a lot throughout it, which is proud, and, and you can direct that towards yourself. And that is something I have struggled with my whole life. How do you think that you know to reserve that reflection of being able to be proud of yourself? Because I think it can help people live a different life course mm -hmm. if we all can learn from your ability to be proud of yourself. Because a lot of us have gone through life not doing it and it's never too late and I'm 47 and I'm asking you because I'm mad <laughs> I actually, I've missed out. Yeah, I actually think that was something that the film helped me do. I'm kind of like you in that way too where I'm always like, no, I could always be doing better. I think even as women, I think sometimes we feel like if we're like, yeah, I did this amazing thing that we feel like ashamed to like say that or we like want to be small constantly yep. and be like, I don't want to be bragging or you know, whatever. Humility yeah. is very dangerous. Uh huh. But, it's good for others, not great for us. Yeah, but uh, I think I've had a hard time walking that line, so that means a lot that you um, that you appreciated that. Um, but yeah, I, I I think this film, you know, I made it kind of long after I had uh, written the album, and I could kind of take a few steps back and look at it from a different vantage point. So I don't know. I think I don't know. I just think it took growing up for me to realize that you can be proud of yourself and also keep working hard at things and also be humble and be so grateful and also be so, you know, privileged. I've come from a lot of privilege and I, I recognize that, but I can also, you know, still be proud of the things that I've done with that. Do you have those people Completely. that will tell you the truth? Completely. Yeah, I feel like we definitely had a similar experience growing up as child actors where you're like on a set and I kind of talked about it a little bit in the film but like you like do a little thing and they're like oh my god you're so brilliant this is amazing and how insecure that can make you because I just remember being like oh I could do the worst thing and people could you know say that I did an amazing thing so how will I know if I'm actually doing a good job and I kind of like swung to the other side of the pendulum where I just thought everything that I did was bad all the time. Okay whoa I'm having an aha moment I'm not kidding <laughs> this wasn't in my notes but have we accepted less in relationships to compensate for that possibly or i think i think maybe we like really like criticism in that way because we didn't hear a lot of it growing up and so i don't know i definitely like gravitate towards people who are like that in a good way but maybe also in a bad way that's an interesting yeah aha uh -huh moment well also how can people like us be continually heartbroken and single. What are we not doing <laughs> right? Or what are we choosing? Or what do we need to choose in the future? Or can we be happy single? Like sometimes if I'm just with my girlfriends, I don't need anything else. Totally. I'm in an era of my life now where I was thinking about this earlier. I'm like, oh my God, all of my female friendships have been so much more fulfilling than any like relationship that I've ever had. You know, they're so much more fun and I learned so much about myself and I just think that's just the relationship that should always take priority in your life.